Alhamdulillah, was sad, was salam, was salam. So we'll start with the last, last part of our uh, forum, inshallah. And uh, we'll have uh, this uh, a talk by, by Dr. Zuhair and Dr. Uh, Oji. Then we are, we'll have a panel about storytelling. So this part will be about Barnamaj uh, Nusahim. So you can with Dr. Zuhair Malibari and Dr. Oji Maghribiya Min Sabi. Okay. Salam alaikum. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, hopefully, you're enjoying our events here at the uh, forum. And I assure you that this is going to be the best session because we always keep the best for the last. So this is going to be the best, I assure you that. So uh, as you can see from the uh, title, I'm going to talk today about the uh, KFUPM SABIC Entrepreneurial Program for Manufacturing and Industrial Enterprises. And we call it NUSAHIM. And as most of you know, NUSAHIM is not an abbreviation. It's an Arabic word, and it means to contribute. So what are we going to contribute? Well, here, here in Nusahim, we are not contributing money, and we are not contributing businesses to the industrial local content. What we are contributing is minds. Minds that will generate businesses, and generate money, and generate jobs for our society. And that's where the name came from, Nusahim. How did it start? It? Well, it started here at the Entrepreneurship Institute. It started here uh, upstairs at the Entrepreneurship Institute. We brought the stakeholders, these companies, Sabic, Sadara, Aramco, Iktiva, and we sat in our meeting room upstairs and we started brainstorming. How can we encourage entrepreneurs to work on industrial projects? How can we direct their projects into more local content industrial projects? And we start brainstorming and Starting with the simple story that all of us know. We know that Saudi Arabia is one of the biggest petrochemical product producers in the world. So we are producing a lot of raw chemicals. What we do is we export those chemicals to an international manufacturer. And that international manufacturer will transform those products into end products and they are going to we are going to import those end products now we all know also that we are exporting those raw materials at a low value and we are importing them at a much much higher value the story is obvious and the solution is obvious if we can exclude those international manufacturers, we can directly use our raw material to produce our own end products. We are going to save a lot of that money to be in our, uh, for our nation, okay, and here inside Saudi Arabia. Then came the question, 
So can we produce any product? Should we go for big industries? Should we encourage guys to go for complicated technologies? Should we produce complicated chemicals, catalysts, specialized chemicals? And we thought that if this Nusahim program is going to be tailored for young entrepreneurs, for those entrepreneurs with limited industrial experience, it will not be applicable. We cannot go for these big industries. We cannot go for these complicated products. We should think of something else. And from there, we came up this idea that if we go to those big industries and we trace the value chain, we will find small products that can be localized and manufactured inside Saudi Arabia. And we can encourage our entrepreneurs to go and manufacture those small products, contributing into the value chain. Eventually, inshallah, we, will, we are going to the whole value chain. This is one thing. The other thing is, even though that they are small products, our entrepreneurs should be innovative. So they should innovate in these factories. And innovation is not limited to the product itself. They can innovate in marketing, in distribution, in all of these things. So when we came up with these two points, and just after one month in January 2018, we were successful to sign an agreement for this program, for the Nusahim program. And we signed an agreement between SABIC and KPUVM to establish this entrepreneurship program for manufacturing and industrial uh, ventures. Okay, we all know that SABIC, SABIC is the third largest chemical producer in the world. Am I right, Dr. Wajib? Yes. Or I'm making it up. Uh, third. third, we are number one in some in ethylene glycol, some other products. We are number two in polyolefins. We are number three in uh, other products. You like will be always number one in my heart, so Thanks that's sure. that's good. <laughs> so they are the third, they are the third uh, chemical manufacturer in the world. Love so what this. is it for SABIC? What is it for SABIC? Why should SABIC go and sign this agreement? And I'm not going to answer that question. I'm going to leave it towards the end. But let me continue about our program, that this Nusahim program. The Nusahim program is three stages. It goes for a whole year, beginning from the winter, with a pre-incubation stage. The pre-incubation stage is called the EEL program, the Entrepreneurial Emerging Leaders program. And that's for four months. And then in summer, there is summer training. And then there is the accelerator stage, the Bidiatic accelerator stage. So for the previous batch, we started announcing for the program in December 2017. We had 94 candidates. They applied, they registered, we filtered them. We interviewed them, and 10 of those were qualified to enter the program. And they started the program in February 2018 with the Pre-Incubation Entrepreneurial Emerging Leaders Program. This is a program, the EEL program, is a program that we offer for our students at KFUPM. It's a model-based program. We have small models, two-week models, so the candidate will start with design thinking, prototyping, these concepts, going through entrepreneurial marketing, accounting, finance, until we reach a whole business plan by the end of, of this course. And in parallel, with, in parallel with the lectures, we have also business and technical mentoring sessions. So we gathered all the stakeholders that are involved in industrial and enhancing the local content, such as Modon, the uh, SDIF, uh, SABIC, the Academia. We also took our candidates to industrial 
uh, trips. We visited some local industries, Sasib, Zamil, High Sky, all these are factories that we have here in the area. And then after they finished these four months, they went to the summer training. In the summer training, that's in summer 2018, and the summer was two parts. The first part is one month in a Sabic company, these huge companies in Jubail, and we selected Kayan and Kimia. And in those companies, the candidate will go and he will learn the standards. Of course, those entrepreneurs are not going to make these big companies or something like it. They're, they're going to make small manufacturers and small factories. But they need to learn high safety standards, high security standards. They need to shadow a leader and learn leadership skills. And that was the purpose of the one month training. Then they had to spend two weeks in a small factory to learn also how these are run. So they went to Sasib, Saudi Filters, Rahman, all these small, small factories, and they spent two weeks there. After summer, they came back to the Entrepreneurship Institute and they joined the Accelerator program. And that was last semester from September to, do, to December 2018. And the Accelerator program, and it's called the Bidayatik program, Bidayatik, okay? So they have specialized mentor sessions, okay? Specialized trips and a lot of mentoring sessions, focusing more on the feasibility study, working on the feasibility study. And now, this term, we are preparing them for a industrial, an industrial demo day, where they can work on presenting their feasibility studies to different investors. So that's about the uh, program. That's a summary about the uh, Nusahim uh, program. We were successful at the end of the program to have five teams in which four of the five, four of the five teams were accepted in Nusanid. Nusanid is the SABIC program for enhancing local content. They call it the SABIC engine. Yes. The SABIC engine, right? SABIC engine. The SABIC engine. Okay, and four of them were accepted in uh, Nusanid, and they signed uh, MOUs just this morning during the exhibition. And those are Technotex, Technonic. Technotex is a company that's going to manufacture textiles, special textiles. Okay, so medical, industrial, and military. Uh, then there is Saudi Car Mat. Saudi Car Mat is uh, a factory that's going to manufacture car mats. The special things about those car mats, they're manufactured from recyclable tires. So they take the tires, okay, they get crumb rubber from it, they mix it with a polymer, which is polyurethrene, and then you manufacture different things, and one of them is uh, car mats. The third is called Defoam. Defoam is a company that's going to manufacture ceiling decorations. And when they do that from polyurethane, they're going to be light and cheap. So that's Defoam. And the final is Saudi Filaments. Saudi Filaments is a factory that's going to focus on manufacturing filaments of 3D printers. And we all know the growing market for 3D printers. So those are the four uh, teams that just graduated a month ago from our program. We have five new teams that just joined the program last month. Okay, so very fast. What are the lessons that we learned from this one year experience? So I'm going to divide the lessons into two categories. First, I'm going to talk about the lessons learned about the industrial ecosystem here in Saudi Arabia, and then about the education of industrial entrepreneurship. So the lessons that we learned about the ecosystem, and I think everyone focus, focused on this in the morning session, that in order for this to be successful, it's a collective effort, all stakeholders, 
all stakeholders, the, invest, the industrial investment, the industrial investors, the industry, the universities, the guys who put the regulations, they should sit together and talk and meet more and more. However, they shouldn't just only talk. They shouldn't just only talk. They should act. On the other hand, we shouldn't wait for the ecosystem to be, to be completed. We should start similar programs, <coughs> okay? We can just follow the concept that we teach our entrepreneurs. We act, build, and learn, and then act again. So we should start more of these programs. The third thing is one of the pro challenges that our entrepreneurs face is the lack of data about locally manufactured products and about imported also products. So they need certain numbers, they need some specifications, and I know that the government it's, is for digitalizing that, but we need to figure out a good detailed organized database for that. So these are three lessons that we learned about the ecosystem. Now, about teaching industrial entrepreneurship, if I may say that. The biggest challenge that we figure is reshaping the mindset, reshaping the mindset of our candidates. They should learn to think entrepreneurial. Okay? This is very, very important. We need to work on the mindset. The second is, no matter what factory you are going to open, you should be different. Even if you are going to open a bakery and make bread, innovation, innovation, innovation. Don't repeat whatever is there. If you want your factory to be sustainable and to grow, you should innovate. And the last thing is industrial mentorship sessions are very important. And a well-planned summer training is very important. And why did I say a well-planned summer training? Because if you're going to take your entrepreneur and you're going to just send him to any company or industrial company, they will treat him as if he is just in an internship, just coming there, an engineer coming there for training. You have to specify a plan that he's an entrepreneur, his ultimate goal is to open a factory. He's not training here for a job. So that's very important. Back to our question, what is it for SAVIC? It looks like an educational program. What is it for SAVIC? Why is this program important for SAVIC? And I, I leave the floor to my colleague, Dr. Rudy. Jazakallah. Wonderful. So, green, it will go in the right direction, huh? Yeah, okay, great. So, Assalamu Alaikum, everyone, everyone, everybody, Assalamu Alaikum. Uh, it's very difficult for someone miskin like me to come and give a talk after uh, Dr. Zuhair. Huh? But they, they say that they always keep uh, the best to the last. So yeah. I'm the last of the last. So you can imagine how amazing it will be. Huh? Okay, so to answer the question, what is, what is in it for SABIC? Actually, uh, we at SABIC, we strongly believe that our sustainability, our continuity is completely, uh, is completely uh, connected to the sustainability and the continuity of the local economy. So unless our local economy is stable and uh, sustainable, our sustainability and continuity will be under threat. So for us at SABIC, we have to keep our local economy very strong to make sure that we will be sustainable and uh, our continuity will not be affected. Actually, we committed ourselves at SABIC to be recognized as a key enabler for Vision uh, 2030. Up to date, we uh, never faced 
similar to the tra transformational we are going through uh, nowadays with our uh, new vision. Today, there is no way for any two organizations to have different uh, objectives or different targets. So today, we are all having the same objectives. Each one will play his role to achieve together these objectives. So to move to the second slide, actually, as you mentioned, Doctor, we are the third uh, largest chemical company in the world. So when when I uh, present, uh, always when I present this uh, this slide, I always talk about muscles and brains. So in this slide, we are showing our muscles and the brains at Sabic. We are the third largest chemical company in the world and the second largest company in KSA, if we compare ourselves with Aramco. And the third lar uh, largest uh, producer of polyolefin in uh, the world. And actually, we are existing in more than 50 countries all over the world. However, we did not even mention it here. We are one of the big buyers. Our, uh, we, uh, our uh, procurement uh, per year is something uh, 22 billion plus. So imagine, Sabic, if we make a decision to increase our procurement by 10%. So we are talking about we are talking about 2.2 billion. <coughs> However, so for everyone, no matter how big are they, he cannot achieve the very challenging numbers. If you go back and you analyze uh, our vision 2030 and you put it in numbers, you will find that some of the numbers we will have to do in the coming, uh, it's not anymore 13, we used to, uh, to say 13 years. In the coming 12 years, we'll have to do what we have done in the past 50 years, double or triples. Okay? So it's very challenging. So for one company or two or three or five or ten, no matter how big are they, they cannot achieve these numbers. So we have to make a uh, work together. We have to work in an ecosystem. Each company has to know exactly what are the muscles and the brain, and they have to contribute in this area. So for us in Sabic, we set for ourselves before we start, as Stephen Covey said, start with, huh? Start. Start with end in your mind. Huh? So we have to set our end. We have to set our targets. It is written in Vision 2030 that we need to increase the private sector contribution to our GDP from 40 uh, from 40 percent to 65. The same for small and medium from 20 to 30. Numbers are there. I will not go, but I have to touch a point on uh, the unemployment rate because it is uh, under my responsibility we have to reduce the unemployment rate from of course uh, when we put the in back in june two, uh, 2016 it was 11.6 today it is 12.9 the unemployment rate we have to bring it down to seven okay so what to do to this number very unfortunately in the past two years instead of going down we are going up in this number from 11.6 to 12.9 for me as a chemical engineer and a technical guy spent 22 years in research centers i would say that this increase is healthy because if we go down all the way it is not healthy we have to have like a little bit increase and then go down in the curve so still we are in a good shape but the this is the good news. The bad news is that this 12.9 came from where? It came from 31.3 unemployment rate in, in female. And 7.9 unemployment rate for male. So no matter what we will do to improve the unemployment rate for male, if we do not triple the efforts and do it for females, we will not achieve our uh, ultimate objective. However, for us in SABIC, we have set for ourselves these objectives, and we said that all our contribution 
will be contributing to achieve these targets. And we launched uh, back in 2018, January 1st, 2018, we, we have launched, we have launched uh, Nusanid. Nusanid, it's an uh, ecosystem. I would say it is exactly, none of what is under Nusanid is something new. Okay, so what is the innovation? What is, what is uh, special about Nusanid? What's, what is special about Nusanid? Nusanid is a smart device. I would call it a smart device, exactly like what Steve Jobs uh, did in the iPod. He brought all what you need in one device. So what, we, what is Nusanid? Nusanid is a smart device where Sabic, we used our influences, we used our power, we used our communication, we used our uh, muscles and the brains to bring all application every entrepreneur and or uh, and or investees and uh, i'd say uh, manufacturer in ksa needs so we put them all in one device under nusanid i will not talk because now i'm not here today to talk about uh, nusanid i will talk about muahal for nusanid this is a complete engine for anyone who would like to to be a job creator not a job seeker Okay, so for Mu'ahal, one of the solutions, of course, to keep Nusanid working, in the first year we have received more than 300 uh, investees with their opportunities. Some of them they took from uh, the defined opportunities under Intima, and some of them they came with their opportunities. What to do for the pipeline? We know for sure that in the first year we will receive uh, 300 in the second year. And when we filtered them, we ended up with 24 uh, investees who graduated just a couple of weeks ago with 8 billion uh, the amount of inv uh, investment. Okay, so how to do, what to do to keep this pipeline full? We know for sure that in the first year we received three, uh, 300 uh, and this number will not continue growing. It will go and decrease. So to keep this pipeline full, that's why we put our hand with KFUBM. So by the time we will accept the first 300 and second 200 and third, three, uh, third batch and filter them, we know for sure by this time that our colleague at KFUBM, they will prepare a new investees for us. So this will keep our pipeline for Nusanid all the time full. The, last year they met with uh, 94, I think, we, they filtered them and we ended up with uh, 10. 10. 10. Program. This year in the first uh, batch we accepted 5 and we know inshallah by the time we'll accept more. Just to uh, talk about Nusanid, uh, about Mu'ahal. Mu'ahal, we have three main pillars under Mu'ahal. The first one is lead, which is leadership, uh, entrepreneurship, acceleration, and development. And this is uh, here where our uh, initiative with Nusahim comes to prepare the entrepreneurs. The second column is job, quali uh, job qualification. In this uh, column, we are trying to qualify uh, Saudis to be able to get a job. So in this column, we are trying to create jobs. The, the last one, we are taking care also with uh, those who are on job already and they need to improve and enhance their technical and personal skills. Just, just to let you know that the global, the global rate for the success in entrepreneurship Anybody know it? Of course, this we have to, mashallah, sahih. Like, how? Okay, uh, you are almost right. Actually, when you measure, you have to measure how many you felt after you filter the investees or after you filter those who are applying for to be entrepreneurs. It's not easy, by the way, to find people who has the willingness to be entrepreneurs because of the fear. Most of us here, we are encouraging our people to be entrepreneurs huh? and we are sitting at offices working for SABIC and KFUBM and other people. 
So I always say that uh, the coach of Muhammad Ali Klai, he wasn't better than him. Sometimes the coach will teach you how to be a champion of the world, okay, but he shouldn't be the champion of the world. Anyhow, uh, the rate is 50%, by the way. When you receive, you filter them. In the first year, you will global rate is to end with 50%. And then after one year, you have to measure the, the success rate. This is what you said. It is less than 10. And then after three years, you measure again. And then you measure after five years to see the sustainability and the continuity. So having four in the first year out of five, it means that with all bad conditions we pass through, we were with having knife with us in the team. Huh? He was making our life miserable, myself, Dr. Weil, and Dr. Zuhair, but he, he was the best, by the way. I have to say that. Anyhow, we were able to end up with 80% success rate. So uh, I'd like to, from my deep heart, to thank Dr. Weil, to thank Dr. Zuhair, thank my colleague Abdul Aziz Al Hajri for their efforts. And of course, the big thanks goes to our government who are uh, preparing all these things for us. Thank you very much for you to continue with us, and uh, we are willing to receive any question, I think. Any questions? We allow one question. Khalas. <laughs> <laughs> no more. Shukran. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I'm second level khair. Shukran, Dr. Zahir, Dr. Wajih, for an outstanding presentation and a very lively engagement, particularly at this hours, <laughs> as you mentioned. <laughs> Just a quick question. We heard today many times the importance of the what's now sweeping the world known as the digital, the digital trend, IR 4.0 and its derivatives. So uh, my question is to Dr. Waji, as SABIC is going through this transformation as well, you are leveraging technologies to do with IR 4.0. Uh, have you thought, uh, you and uh, KFUPM, to help these uh, very promising uh, young men uh, to uh, coach them, mentor them, and leverage these technologies to the benefit of SABIC and to the benefit of their businesses as well? Shukran. Thank you very much for this question. But uh, uh, again, you are completely right. We are moving into the digitization or digitalization. The whole world today with the uh, we are moving in this digitalization. However, for SABIC, uh, a digitization, uh, we considered at SABIC that this, uh, it is a tool we are using it. So always at SABIC, when it will come to a service, we prefer to depend on a local provider instead of developing our own because it is not in our core business. <laughs> And as I mentioned, uh, if, you, if we go back to our slide, where we set up our ultimate objectives, we said that we are at SABIC, we'll concentrate on the petrochemical industries and support, and we will continue supporting those who are working in this area, because we believe that digitalization and other uh, kind of these technology information uh, we strongly believe that STC and other champions in KSA, they are much better than SABIC to contribute because they will contribute more to the investees. For us, we are buying this technology. However, for SABIC to support this, when it will come to a local supplier, uh, to a local service pro uh, provider for uh, these service, the digitalization and uh, information technology and any kind of these high tech we will, of course, support the local supplier and we will not buy this technology from a global supplier or from outside the kingdom. As soon as we have an invest, uh, investor or someone who will invest in these technologies, who, who should take some help from other champions like STC, like other uh, high technology, information technology companies, of course, we will support them by buying this service. Did I answer my uh, yes, your question? Okay, thank you. I think that's it for this session. And uh, as a token of appreciation, I would like to call upon Dr. Uh, Wael Musa, the dean of the EI, uh, to present.
the words so دكتور 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 وجيه مغربية الله يسعدك جزاكم الله ألف خير ألف شكر دكتور زهير مليباري ما شاء الله